Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In today's video, we're going to be getting the five number summary. Now, here we have two different data sets. One has an even amount of integers and the other uh, decimals, and the other one has an odd number of decimal numbers, right? Now, it doesn't really matter if you have whole numbers or decimal values. We treat them all the same. We're going to arrange them in order first. After we arrange them in order, the min and the max are the first and the last numbers, while the median is the middle term, and the Q1 and Q3 are going to be based on middle positions of the left and the right data sets. So for this first problem, what we want to do is arrange them in order, right? So we're looking for the smallest to the largest order when we're doing this. So we're going to sort them. So here we start with this, 3.0 is the lowest. The following number after 3.0 would be 5.5. That goes next. Following 5.5, we have 6.0 here. After 6.0, we have the number 6.5. After 6.5, we see there's a 7.5 here. Let's bring that down. After 7.5, we have 11.5. After 11.5, there's 12.0. After 12, we have 17.5, followed by 20.5, and finally 40.5. So now once we have these digits in order and sorted, what we want to do is look at the first and the last originally because it's the min and the max. So here we have the min, here we have the max. The minimum value will be 3.0, the maximum value will be 40.5. Now that we have those taken out of the way, let's find the median. To get the median, what we want to do is count off these numbers till we get to the middle term. So here we have one counted off, another counted off. We count off another two from the left and right count off another one, and another one, and we see we have two left in the middle. This is because we have an even amount of numbers. Now what we do with these two middle terms are we're going to add them. So we're going to add 7.5 plus 11.5 and divide them by 2. 7.5 plus 11.5, this gives me exactly 19.0 divided by 2. 19.0 divided by 2, that's going to give me 9.5. So our median here, is 9.5. The median is also uh, the, the second quartile, so I'm just going to write Q2 next to this while I write the 9.5. Now for the last two remaining quartiles, which is quartile 1 and quartile 3, we're going to take a different approach to do this. If we look at this half of the data, since we know the median is everything between these two, we're going to consider this data for Q1 we we'll consider this data for Q3. Now, the median of the subset here we have, we just knock off numbers till we get to the middle term. And the middle term here is just 6.0. So that'll be our Q1. For our Q3, we do the same thing with this data. We knock off two at a time, and we get 17.5. And that's our first five number summary when we have an even amount of numbers. Now, when we have an odd amount of numbers, it makes everything a little different. So we'll start by arranging all this data in order as well. We start with 0 0.10. The following data would be 0 0.54. Following 0 0.54, we have 0 0.56. Followed by that, we have 0 0.75, which is then followed by 0 0.88, and then 0 0.95, followed by 1.25. Similar to the last problem, we'll take the first and the last, and we'll make the min and the max right away. Let's not hesitate making these. They're the easiest ones to find. The second one is 1.25. Now the median, again, is coming off toward the middle term. In this case, our second quartile is going to have a value because we have an odd amount of numbers. So knocking off one at a time, we get five left in the middle. Knocking off two more, we have three, and two more, we have just one. 0 0.75 for the middle term. Now that we knocked off this one, we're just going to ignore this term. We're going to just take these two sets of data and find what lies between them. So for Q3 over here, we're going to have 0 0.95. And for Q1 over there, we're going to take these two off and we get 0 0.54. And that concludes our five number summaries for odd and even numbers.